Okay, we'll come into our mountain pose for our warm-ups and just do a gentle practice today. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core. So ribs towards your spine and up and shoulders back and down. Spread your toes out and reach the crown to the ceiling. Take a few moments of breathing, drawing in energy and awareness, exhaling stress and tension, and just focusing on your yoga practice today. Inhaling, arms to shoulder level, stretch the arms out, and reach your fingertips now. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then exhale the hands behind you. Press the fingers to the floor and lift your heart and stretch the head back. And on an exhalation, pivot at your hips, come on over and bring your hands up toward the ceiling. Move your chin around, get your neck releasing, and bend your knees slightly. Take a moment, winding from the bottom of your spine slowly to the top, and lift your heart. Stretch the head back, spread your toes, drop your shoulders, and feel that upper body back bend, lifting your chest. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Feel the spine getting a little more activated. Just to start, let's do it again. Arms at shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind. So shift the fingers in one position. Lift your heart again, spread the toes, stretch the spine, and pull it over. Keep stretching everything along. Hands up for those shoulders to work, head down. And again, lift the sitting bones, stretch your legs. And then with the knees slightly bent again, lifting your ribs and dropping the sitting bones, wind all the way back up. And then other upper body back bend, lifting your heart, stretching the head back. Inhale, upright, release your arms. And again, just notice how your body responds. That's your yoga torch. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp the hands and bring the arms back by your ears. We'll do our side stretch. So remember, hips and shoulders stay to the front. Exhale and lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and out through your hands, stretching open through the ribs. And then inhale back upright. Keep the shoulders down as you switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears. Everything straight as you lean to the opposite side. And again, maximize with the foot down and the hands are reaching away, pulling those ribs inside, open over the foot. And again, inhale to the top, exhale the arms back down. Feel the sides a little bit more open, and then we'll really stretch the spine apart for our twist. So base of the skull up and base of the spine down. Stretch it all apart, and all the twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasping your elbows, arms next to your ears. Spread the toes, stretch the spine apart, and turn to your twist. Take a breath. And exhale, in the twist, all the way over. Take a moment and breathe. Lift your sitting bones. Keep the arms by your ears. <clears throat> and keep the weight even on both feet. Again, on the inhalation, come on back up. Lift your heart. And drop your shoulders. And again, upper body only back then when you're twisting. Remember, always gentle on the low back. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, and again, pull them by your ears. Stretch the spine, and then turn to your twist on the other side. And right. And exhale over. Again, keep the weight on both feet, and just deepen as far as you like. Feel the twist through the whole body. 
And then inhaling again, work your way up in the twist, slowly into that upper body through your back, and dropping your shoulders and shoulder blade from the elbows back. Take a moment, just breathing into it, stretching your spine. And inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, arms up into extended mountain, shoulders still down. Feel the length of your spine lengthening even further. And then swan dive, so arms at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, pivoting at your hips. And just stretch out there halfway down, and then drop into ride dog. Take a moment, breathe in. Hold your big toe in your index and middle fingers, and then come into gorilla pose. Elbows, knees, and spine straight. Stretching long through the sitting bones and crown. And then releasing back into ragdoll. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs. Give a stretch on your back. <clears throat> and then arms back in the center. And another wind up into mountain pose. I just feel everything a little bit more stretched out through the spine area. Shoulders back and down. And let's bring the arms to shoulder level. Thumbs on the inside of your palms, fingers just gently wrapped around. Keep pushing out through the fists and then turn one fist up and the other down. And while you're pushing up through the ground and out through the fists, turn the fists the opposite way. Keep that core active, supporting your spine. Just keep rotating the fists, pushing out. And then bring your lower arm into it. So from the elbow down, turning with the fists, as fast or slow as your body wants to turn today. And then bring the whole arm into it. Just getting a little rotation all the way into the upper arms as those fists move one up and one down. Still pushing out. And then get your shoulders really moving. You move that rotation all the way to the middle of your spine. Rotating the shoulder up and down along with the fists. Feel the whole shoulder area. All the way across, out to your fist, moving. Like a good massage across that upper body. And then releasing the shoulders, <clears throat> just turning the arms. And then just the lower arms. And then just the fist. And then tighten your fist around the thumb. <clears throat> Keep tightening, tightening like that National Geographic bud. And then slowly let your finger pedals loosen and National Geographic slow motion blooming of your finger flowers. So just reach those fingertips out, stretching them wide. Bring the fingertips up toward the ceiling, pushing out through the palms, out, out, out. And then shake it all out, loosening your arms and shoulders. Take a moment as you get back into mountain pose, feeling your upper body a little bit more activated. And then let's bring the hands onto your back, heel of the palm on your lower shoulder blades and fingertips down towards your hips. Pull the elbows back toward each other. Again, feel that chest open and press into that lower back with your hands. And then lift your heart, stretch your head slightly back, a little upper body back bend. Take a breath, just relax into it. Feel the support on your spine, just giving you a nice gentle lower back movement. And then chin toward your chest, coming back upright, release your arms again into mountain pose. Turn your toes slightly out. Bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. And we'll do our twist again. So sitting bones back and base of the skull forward. And then turning your whole body, exhaling, lift the hip. You're turning toward 
and bring the shoulder down towards your knee as you turn all the way. Hips, ribs, and shoulder facing the side. No pressure in your knees with those hands, just letting your position and go into that twist. Stretch it out, exhale, relax. Come on, another exhalation, turn back to the center, stretch things long as you breathe in, and then turning to the other side. So the hip goes up and the shoulder down as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder toward the twist on the other side. And again, just breathe into it, exhaling as deeply as you do. Deepening and turning, shoulder up, it's above. And then exhaling, turn back to the center, straightening things out, tucking your chin and round your spine, and release your hands coming back up, feet toward the front into mountain pose. Again, feel your spine a little bit more activated, hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling, look at your thumbs, pulling them back, and lifting your heart. So a nice upper body, unsupported back bend this time. Exhale, swan dive forward. So separate those arms, pivot at the hips, stretch it out, drop down into the end down. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch, spreading your toes, lengthening your spine, looking at the floor, keep stretching the back of your neck. And then exhale back down and drag go. Looking your chin, palms together. And again, following your hands, bringing them all the way toward the ceiling. And another little upper body back bend as those hands go further behind you. And again, exhaling hands to your head. And into neck and toes. Take a moment, feel your body, spread your toes. Stretch the spine apart and we'll windmill side to side. So just follow your hands from one side to the other. Coming, stretching apart through the spine, just moving hips, ribs, shoulder, the whole body as you move, following the hands a little deeper at each end of the circuit. And then come back into the center, and with that stroke and swimming, bringing the arm in close to your ear, bringing those shoulders around a little bit. So bring your arm way up and back as much as feels right for your arm. And then bring both arms up, stretch one side high, come up on the toe of the other foot so the heel is lifted. And the side you're stretching, the foot stays flat, getting that the side reaching and stretching further open. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one up. And again, the heel lifts on that other side, giving a real firm support on the side you're stretching. And then both feet down, both arms up, shoulders are still toward your waist. Clasp your hands, press the palms up toward the ceiling. Bring the hands out in front as you press out through the hands. Then one elbow over to the side, then back to the center, and then the other way. And back to the center. Bring it up, switch your hands. So the other fingers on the outside pressing up again, and then moving your arm to the side, back to the center, over to the side, Back to the center, coming forward, and release. And again, take a moment, feeling your shoulders, feeling your upper body, and bring your feet together. Bend your knees, not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. Remember, no pushing into your knees, just positioning. And then circle your knees, letting the ankles work, the knees, the hips, the whole lower body, getting some work. So circling around as deeply as you like, knees coming forward, but not beyond your toes. And then stop and circle the other way, balance it out. <clears throat> You're working your feet, feeling those toes moving, 
feeling the ankles and arches, everything getting a little bit of motion. And then come back to the center. <clears throat> and come up onto the base of your toes, ball of your foot area, lifting your heels for a little balance. So look at that spot out in front of you for a little stability. See if you can find your balance. And then roll onto your heels and toes. So get the whole bottom of your foot, ankles, arches, toes working. And then release, coming back up and step back, feet hip width apart into mountain pose. Feel that centered, grounded feeling through both feet. And clasp your hands behind your lower back or bring your fingertips up between your shoulder blades, palms together into reverse prayer, just keeping your shoulders even as you're in that position. Bend your knees slightly, not beyond your toes, and big circles with your hips. So get that whole lower body, lower back working. Just circling it around. Stop and go the other way, evenly working both sides. And then release, coming back up again into mountain pose. Focus on your ribs this time and just move the ribs around. And again, circle both ways. And back to the center and relax. Spread your toes. We'll do our balance practice. So find your balance foot. Lift the toes. Get the ball of the foot down. Make sure that stays down. That's what gives you the support along with your heel. Spread the toes out. No gripping. Otherwise, you'll lose that support. Make sure your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder are lined up. So remember, you might need to turn that leg slightly in to make sure that knee is going in the direction of your second toe. Activate your core, so that's ribs toward your spine and up, making sure you're supporting your low back and the shoulders are relaxing down and back. When you get that foot planted and rooted, bring the other foot up. So you can do just a little or more or pull the leg all the way toward your chest. And remember, don't cross the foot over. So again, roll at the top of the thigh inward. Circle your ankle when you're stable, both directions, making sure we keep it nice and flexible. And then flex and point before you put your foot back down. Shift from one side to the other. So again, activating all that connection into your foot, making sure the toes aren't ripping, making sure that everything's aligned, making sure the core is supporting you and the shoulders are relaxing, the crown reaching to the ceiling, sinking into your rooted foot. Bring the other leg up. And again, only as far as you want. If your balance challenged, it can stay long, that's okay. And again, when you're stable, just circle the ankle around both ways. And straightening it out before you bring it back down. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment feeling that stability of both feet. And again, hands to your heart. Inhale toward the ceiling and another little back bend, bringing those thumbs back as you look at them heart high. Exhale, hands to your heart as you pivot on over into ragdoll. And again, hands up under your knees on your shins. Straighten and stretch halfway up. And then bend your knees, coming to the mat or arch and I pose transition. Hips back onto your heels as much as they'll go. Hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a breath, just relax. And then inhale and sit up, coming into a staff position. So feet out in front, pressing out through the heels, toes up, shoulders down. Going to bend the knee and bring the foot up to your opposite thigh, letting that knee come down for that hip joint 
getting a little bit of work. Remember, you can have a little pad behind you for a little pelvic tilt to help you <coughs> improve that opening. Or you can bring the front leg to the side <coughs> just slightly, <coughs> knee and toes still up. <coughs> Sorry. Let the knee come down, either just gradually, no hands, or you can put the hands for weight, but not pressure. So no pushing. If you push, it resists. We don't want that. We just want it to relax and deepen into its position. So just breathe into it. Exhale, relax it. <clears throat> and then bring your foot and hand, knee into your hands. <clears throat> Sorry, and bring the foot back and forth. So you can keep your hands on the leg or you can wrap your arms around and pull it closer or higher if that works for your hip and body. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the spine straight, keep the core active and supporting that lower back area. Take a breath, just relaxing and release. So back in staff position, feel the difference on the two sides and bring the other foot up. Let the knee come down on this side naturally or bring the foot over to the side if that's opening a little bit more easily for you or bring your hands a little extra weight onto that position. And again, just work into it as much or as little as your body needs and wants today for this side. And remember, one side may be tighter than the other. We're creatures of habit. We're always using our bodies in the same way, getting into chairs and cars and sitting at our desks. So go ahead and just relax. Oh, and the sewing machines too. <laughs> and again, bringing the foot and knee into your hands or wrapping your arms around and pulling the leg in. Move it back and forth for that rotator. Just breathe. Exhaling tension. Higher or closer for more intensity or not. And releasing that foot, bring the bottoms of the feet in together into butterfly, knees up to the sides. Take a moment and breathe there, just relaxing, everything just releasing through the legs, through the knees. And then tuck your chin into the little throat center indentation. Bring the chin down, feel the back of the neck stretch, let it relax. And then if you want, you can bring your hands one at a time to the back of the head. But remember, no pressure, only a little extra weight, giving a stretch to the back of the neck. Take a breath. Let it relax. And then release your hands, tip your head upright, and bring your chin slightly higher. Stretch through the back of your neck, though, as you do that. Move your jaw around. Stretch and tighten the throat. And then tip your head back upright. Lift your knees. Bring the legs out in front. Tip your ear over to one shoulder, keeping everything straight, core activated, and just letting that side of your neck and shoulder stretch. Bring your hand you're tipping toward and add the weight to the side of your head, not pressure, and let it maximize a little bit more. Hand to the floor if you want even a little bit more stretch. Exhale, just relax it. And then releasing your hands, tip your head upright and tip the opposite ear across. And again, shoulders stay even. Body just relaxing as you tip the ear toward the side, bringing the hand weight only, not pressure, to the outside of the head. And the other hand, if you want, to the floor. Feel the stretch on the side of your neck and shoulder as much as it wants. And again, releasing your hands, tip your head up. Stretch the whole spine. And we'll bring the legs to the end of the mat. Take a moment and breathe. 
And as you exhale, just relax all the way onto the floor. Breathe deep, shoulders down, and bring your hands to T position for our final twist. <clears throat> heels toward, or hips toward your heels, heels toward your hips. Press your back gently down and lift your feet. Keep the knees next to each other for a gentle twist or cross one leg over and then roll it to the opposite side as you turn your head the other direction. So your knees can be next to each other for a gentler version or with the leg crossed over or a little bit more low back twist. Head turning for that neck area twist and keep the shoulders down for your middle back. Letting everything just relax as you breathe. Twisting as much or as little as you need today. And of course, hold the twist longer on your own, but for now, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, uncrossing your legs if they were crossed, and crossing the other way or the opposite side. So knees either together or crossed over, Roll the knees to hip level on that side and the head turning the other direction. Shoulders down, hands, palms up or down, it doesn't matter. Just keep the shoulders and shoulder blades on the floor for that middle back twist. Head turning, that's your neck. Don't be overdoing it if you need to be gentle. And just let the knees come toward the floor as much as your low back wants and needs today. Take a breath. Just relax. And of course, in order to have our relaxation, go ahead and pull the heels toward your hips and roll onto your back and cross your legs if they were crossed. Feet to the floor, sliding out, coming into corpse position for our relaxation. Hands, palms up, shoulders down, toes toward each other, and then just relax. Take a moment, scan through your body. Notice any tightness left anywhere and let it go. Soften your hips, your belly, your legs, your arms, your face. Just allow your head moving side to side, releasing your neck. Deep breath in. Exhale, let your body go, softening, sinking into that earth support, and let everything relax. As your body releases deep into that earth support, let awareness of your body release from your attention. And as that releases, just let awareness of your whole body release from your attention. And allow any other thoughts coming to you to release as well, letting your mind relax along with your body. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let those thoughts flow in and out, knowing it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention or let the thoughts go as easily as your breath, floating away with awareness and allow your body to release and your mind to release and your awareness to relax its attention on anything, focusing only on the peace deep within. And fill your body with peace and your mind with peace, taking a few moments to be peace. If you're relaxing well today, just take as long as you have time. 
And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, and to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Moving your ankles and feet, knees and legs, arms and hands, however they like. And when it's time for your final yoga hug of appreciation, spinning bounds towards your heels, drawing your heels towards your hips, and then your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, <clears throat> give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, and we sit to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.